Okay, so there's a lot of people who are just like me who find it hard to get all their vegetables that they're supposed to eat every day uh, eaten. And if you listen to Dr. Berg and he says that you need to eat seven cups of vegetables and make a kale shake, it doesn't always come out perfect. So I tried like he had said to freeze my kale and then put it in the blender and it just doesn't seem to come out right. I always get a branch or a stem in my smoothie and it just doesn't work out. So what I thought I would do is put my kale in the food processor and let's see how that works. So I take my frozen kale, and that makes it considerably more brittle. And I put it in my food processor, get it all kind of smushed down in there. We'll fill this food processor up. And then let's process the heck out of it. So now, as you can see, without much effort, we have processed it and it's ground very finely. So I took this entire bag of kale, I only have a small little bit left, and processed it down to where I could put it in a Tupperware container. And now it is in a Tupperware container and I filled the Tupperware container completely. So now I keep this in the freezer and whenever I need to I can take out bits of this and put it in the blender. So I just add my water. Take all my kale that has been ground up. And so I know that when I take my kale shake, I'm not going to get any stems because I've already blended them all up. Now I choose to add a little bit of my Keto Perfect and I get one scoop of that on top of my kale. This one is orange flavor, and so it does help me out in the flavor department a little bit. Now I've completely ground it all up.
and we'll just pop it in here. Completely free of seeds or stems or branches. It's very clear, very nice to drink, and you're good to go. So try it out that way. See if you don't like it a little bit better. And uh, I, I think you'll enjoy this much more.